Hi, Uncivilized Vitality, and today we're going to talk about uh, nourishment number three. So this occasionally don't eat. This is the, the little bit of uh, advice we give you with uh, nourishment, or uh, I don't like to say nutrition, but nourishment. Number three is occasionally don't eat. So mainly this is going to revolve around intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting. We can go through uh, intermittent fasting in more, or IF, in more detail in uh, future videos. Uh, different ways to do IF. 8 and 16, alternate day, 2s um, and 5s. There's all sorts of ways to do intermittent fasting. The good news about intermittent fasting uh, is that you already do it. You do it every day. Uh, when you go to sleep, we're just going to tweak the hours a little bit. Um, so let's explain what we mean about fasting. So you can think of yourself as having uh, two metabolic compartments. Uh, you're either uh, fed or fasted, right? And fed would include anything from mealtime to about, give or take, four to eight hours. Uh, we say postprandial, or just means after you've eaten. So. Uh, the fed state can end anywhere from four to eight hours after you've eaten, just depending on, depending on what you, you've eaten. Uh, the fasted state is everything else. These are two distinct metabolic states that you're in. Um, it's a different uh, autonomic tone. There are different um, uh, levels of hormones, different activity levels. They're very, very different. Um, one of the, the biggest reasons we use intermittent fasting uh, for health and wellness support is because fasting is uh, probably the closest to a cure-all you can get. Uh, in the fasted state is when your immune system ramps up, when your growth hormone goes up, um, when you're making repair and building new structures, okay? Because it's very uh, energy intensive to digest food, mechanical digestion, chemical digestion, the absorption, the, the, the straining and delivery of nutrients is very energy intensive. So you will down uh, turn down the amount of energy you're using or allocating for things like um, sweeping up for uh, damaged or old worn out cells and uh, building new uh, proteins and repairing structures, uh, storing and maintaining energy for future use. That's all in the rested or fasted state. Well, right after you've fed, um, you know, you've got to digest and deliver all that food and nutrients. Okay? Intermittent fasting it is uh, really just a technique that means timing your fasts to very specific periods. Human beings are designed to eat uh, and then just eat what you can hold and then you just live your life until you can find more food to eat. In today's um, environment where food is uh, it's ubiquitous, it's constantly on, on demand, market forces drive you to eat too much of it, it's hard to stay in a fasted state. Um, so we'll talk about some different techniques. Intermittent fasting just refers to timing your fasted states to get the most out of the fact that your body can uh, recover, uh, rejuvenate, restore uh, during the fasted state. The simplest one that uh, you can start with is sometimes called the 8 and 16. This got very popular a few years ago when one of the, um, I think one of the celebrity trainers in Hollywood uh, finally came out and wrote a book about it, is basically you limit your fed, um, your feeding state to eight hours a day, and then you try to remain fasted for 16 hours. It's not quite accurate because if I stop, if I eat from noon to eight and I stop eating at seven, I'm not really in a fasted state till about midnight, but it's close enough for most people to understand. I just can eat uh, my foods between noon and eight, and then I don't eat anything else. Now, fast, there's no such thing as a juice fast or a... Um, I don't know, anything else stupid that uh, you see in the, the popular media. It, fasting means nothing but water. Uh, you could switch that up a little more and think of fasting as anything that doesn't induce uh, an insulin response. So you guess you could eat some fats and such. But for our purposes, we just think as fasted as nothing other than water and um, maybe some uh, sea salt or whatever passing your lips for those fasted hours. And then in the eight hours is when you're eating. Uh, a great way to explain the difference metabolically between fasted and fed is a guy called Dr. Jason Fung. And you can find that right here on YouTube. He's got a great uh, explanation of the two compartment model. Um, it's also found in his book, um, Fasting and the Obesity Code. Um, one of those books has a two compartment model. He talks about that. 
but you can check this video out. We'll put a link in the description. And then don't forget to uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and then uh, check out the other two nourishment uh, videos. The real food is vital and eating on purpose.